So welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin Toll Reads, and as you can tell, I'm on the trails. I'm trying to act like I'm faceless book reviews out here. So I apologize for the shaky cameras. I'm gonna try to record a Q&A video. I've had a few questions lately, and so I'm gonna try to hike and shake the camera and pant and stuff in your ear. So this is this ought to be interesting. <laughs> but anyways, I've had some questions lately and I wanna haven't done a QA video in a while and I figured I'd address them. I got one specific question from Odd Audi Online. Subscriber, always comments, really good guy. I believe in the South Carolina area. I could be wrong. But anyways, he asked me a question, I think it was yesterday. And I thought, you know, that I haven't done a QA in a while, so maybe I'll do that. And so I took a little time off of work, so I'm out here getting my trail walk in. And I figured I'd do a QA. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe take some Dramamine before you watch this. <laughs> and I'll try not to trip as I talk and try to hold the camera steady at the same time. So Aud Audi Online asked me a question related to how do I keep track of what I've read? you know, series, inventory, etc. I've looked at a couple different options. You know, there's apps you can use where you can scan books from your phone. Goodreads, you can keep track of there. You can, there's one actually like a, one second. There's actually a barcode scanner thing like you would, scan groceries that you can use to inventory and it probably ties to an app. I've looked at all, a lot of those, but for me, I just have, <laughs> I have Excel. I have a big spreadsheet where I cataloged all my books and I have them in a the table, you know, by author, by title, series name, if it's in the series, what book in the series. And then I usually put a month and year of when I read it last. So that way I can tell where I'm at. And then when I go shopping, if I'm looking for specific books, you know, I'll, I'll take that little list, print it off, take a screenshot with my phone and uh, go look for specific books. If I'm looking for, you know, a Sackett series book for Louis from Louie, if I'm looking for another Corey book, that kind of thing. So that's how I do it. And then on the same file that I keep on my computer with all my inventory, I have different templates for different videos. You know, I have templates about the Why You Should Read series, the character deep dives. I have some outlines I use for different things like book reviews, and I keep notes of all the books you guys recommend. And I keep it on just different tabs on, a, on an Excel document, really. And uh, I have it saved locally in, in the cloud, so. But yeah, that's how, I, that's how I do it. I mean, it's kind of uh, manual and antiquated a little bit, but you know, that's how I do it. And then another question I seem to always get, and before I start, <laughs> Odd Audi Online, hope that answers your question. That's not a, probably as a cool one. I, there's definitely apps out there, man. Like, that probably do a way better job. Pull it up in your phone. You can, right there when you're in a shop and you can see which book you haven't read or you don't have and that kind of thing. But that's how I do it. And I've seen other people, <laughs> older gentlemen that have used bookstores, I've seen them come in with three binders with pages and they're scanning through their lists and just as they're looking at the shelves. I mean, I'm kind of the same way, in a way. So, that's how I do it, but hopefully that answers your question. Probably the most <laughs> question I get, how do you read so fast? I've answered this a couple times, but I don't read very fast, to be honest with you. Um, I read a lot of books during the week because I'm able to consume a lot of books during the week because I use Audible too. I mean, I've got a probably two hour hike here in front of me. 
And once I'm done with this video, I will pull up the Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. I've got like six hours left on Audible. I'll start listening to it again. And then I just, I always got an Audible book going at the same time I've been reading a physical book. I just finished and uploaded a book review for How to Lose the Time War. I was reading that physically. And at the same time, I was listening to Harry Potter. And then tomorrow, probably, I'll be done with Harry Potter. And then I have the Letty Davenport book on Audible. I'll start listening to that. And probably tonight, I'll start another book on my TBR. Probably Down the Long Hills by Louis L'Amour. That's what I'm thinking. And so, I'm always reading one in Audible, one in physical copy at the same time. I think if I get more than like, I don't really, I try not to do more than two at a time. If I do read three at a time, it's got to be short books. I can't read a fantasy real in depth, multiple point of views and characters and world building and then also have like two or three books going on the same. I just can't do that. And so if it's short, concise stuff, I can read multiple books at the same time. So I apologize. I'm probably painting. I walk pretty quickly. So usually when I'm walking in the town, I walk about 11 and a half minute miles. So I walk fast. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'5", so <laughs> I got long legs. Anyways, but back to the question, as I'm digressing, I'm always reading multiple books at the same time, usually two, no more than three, and it depends on the type of book. You know, I've been reading a lot of shorter stuff lately, and, you know, that helps. I need to start that Ken Lu series. Those are big fantasy books. I probably won't read. I'll probably read one of those and it might take me two weeks to get through one. And while I'm doing that, I might read a couple short stuff like some Louis in the Moor. I might start one of those Lawrence Block burglar books, Bernie Rodenbar ones. They're pretty short, 300 pages, you know, but that's how I do it. And then Audible, in terms of Audible, I know not everyone believes it's reading, but I, uh, most books, again, if it's not a huge complex book, I can read those at one and a half to 1.75 speed. So a 15 hour audible book, I can parse that down to under 10 hours just by the speed I'm consuming that. And I don't really feel like I lose much, but I listen to books when I'm doing data entry for work, when I'm walking when I'm doing stuff around the house. I, I feel like I can do multiple things. My mind consumes it and I'm able to retain it for the most part. I mean, even if I read physical books, much book, as many books as I read over the course of time, you're going to forget, you know? So, but yeah, that's a question I get so much. I mean, I'm just, I don't watch TV. I, I read books and I listen to books. I mean, that's, that's what I do. I just, there's nothing good on TV anymore, you know? So maybe that's the next question. What did I, what do I watch? Well, I'm a sucker for good movies, but I just, there's not been any recently. Um, you know, they just don't have cool things anymore. The office is, is done. I do watch reruns sometimes. Um, Seinfeld reruns. I love Seinfeld. Um, I have House MD on our DVDs, but I haven't watched it in a long time. I like House. I like old living in, in living color. <laughs> you can't you can't air that stuff nowadays. People, yeah, people get you know, up in arms over that. But that that's classic stuff, comedy. But good movies. I'm kind of a guy when it comes to movies. I'm not. I don't like romance. I like some comedy. I like action movies. So, but yeah, that's how I read so much. I spend a lot of time walking, so I spend a lot of time reading. 
you know, I listen to books while I walk and do other things. So, you know, obviously when if I'm mowing, I can't listen to a book, you know, but if I'm uh, doing a odds and ends house chore or something, I'm listening to a book. If I'm driving somewhere to do errands, I'm listening to a book. So I just, I just try to, whenever I can put some time in listening, on, and then I always physically read at night, at least an hour, if not more. So that's how I do so much. Another question I get asked is, do I record videos ahead of time? Like, do I have like a bunch of pre-recorded videos that I'm just like a week ahead? No, I record. <laughs> I, before coming out here, I recorded my book review of this how it was time war. I just uploaded it. I literally did that, you know, less than an hour ago. Um, I record on a phone in my home office and I upload it. I don't have any software. I don't edit and uh, I don't work ahead, you know, because whenever, you know, you guys might ask questions I'm like, oh yeah, that's a really good one for a video and I'll add it, you know, like this one. So figured I was coming out here. I had said something to Faceless about doing a video like this because he does these. And then Aud, Audi online asked that question. I thought, you know what? Q and A video. So, and here I am, puffing and puffing in your ear and digressing. So, no, I do not record ahead. So all the videos you see, literally recorded that time. You know, within the hour, they're uploaded. You know, I don't record and then post two days later. No, it's literally right then. So. But those are the questions I get. Uh, another one I get is genres. What genres do I like? It's pretty evident. I mean, love series, overarching series. I love fantasy. I love thrillers, mystery, suspense, um, adventure. Really getting into westerns. Thanks to a lot of you out there. So I can name five or six channels really quick that are keeping me into the westerns. So. But anyways, that's, that's, that's really the Q&A. I mean, this is at 12 minutes, geez. But yeah, I'm only about a mile and a half in here. And so, yeah, I'm going to finish my couple hours reading, listening to Harry Potter and sweating my, it's about 86 out and humid. And this is more up and down hills than it appears. So I'm gonna, I'm going to end this. Hopefully this answers some questions. I'd love to do more. If you have questions, hold on. If you have questions, ask me. I mean, for real, I'm, I'm pretty open, pretty transparent. So anyways, drop me a comment if you have other questions you wanna see me answer in the comments or maybe do another video if I get enough questions. So hope you're having a great day and uh, who knows, I might have another video for you soon. I have another idea that I was thinking about today. So anyways, I'll post this when I get back and showered and everything. So have a good one guys. Bye.